I like the dead because of rhythm, true rhythm, real rhythm, rhythm that makes one move in a real way, in a real sense, and for a long, long time, longer than you and I can even see for. And there's a certain kind of transformation that happens at a Grateful Dead concert, which is what music is all about, so the music that we're interested in, and, and um, that's the uh, core of their is zeal to get at the Grateful Dead is that moment of transformation. You go to a show and you feel you have a certain sense of camaraderie. No, I don't know. You can't really describe it. It's just a feeling you get when you're with all these people. Have you noticed that a dead show, everybody in the whole stadium is like, moving like from the bottom row to like the top like every single person is like moving and i think that says it all just one thing i got to say i need a miracle every day they're the dancers they're very obvious i call them twirlers i mean just let it go and dance and they're they're more than just dancing there's just an aura about them I need a The Grateful Dead has one of the largest followings in the history of rock and roll, the Deadheads. These mega fans have created an entire subculture based on the ideas and the music of the band. There's a neat book out uh, that's a Deadheads book. It's about Deadheads and four Deadheads and, and has lots and lots of stuff that Deadheads have pr uh, created and uh, anecdotes and, and, and it talks really about that subculture. The Deadheads are an unusual spectacular kind of a phenomenon to the tide. incredible people of all sorts you know Come with me or go alone. they create an environment that adds to who the dead are He's come to take his children home. I don't really think that the philosophy is just 60s you know like people sometimes say that to me and I don't think that that's why I am I think I'm very 1980s I know what year it is you know but just represented a lot of good things and I think those things are still here today. Part of being a deadhead is hanging out with other deadheads. So for lucky deadheads in New York, there's the ultimate night spot, Club Dead. Club Dead is like the next best thing to being at a Grateful Dead show. You can't be at a Grateful Dead show. We've got the videos, we've got the music, we've got the atmosphere, you know. It's just like, it's the next best thing to being. It's the recreation of a Grateful Dead concert in New York City. Now the band is facing a new crop of growing pains as more and more people want to experience a dead show for themselves. We're getting so popular that we're popularizing ourselves right out of all of the good venues. I mean, playing giant venues is not my idea of playing intimate music. I mean, we have to because of the demand. We can't play in theaters anymore. I mean, it'd be riots. You know, it's not, it's not cool. We're having troubles at concerts now where there's maybe 5, 10, 15,000 kids that can't get in. And they're outside breaking in the doors and doing this stuff, and that's not what we're about. We're about having playing music and having fun, kidding each other, you know, and living as long as we can live. I mean, tickets are a problem now, you know. It's, uh, we have a hard time getting them to everybody who wants them. Mm -hmm. So if there's that many more people who suddenly want them, it's going to, you know, it's, it'll be a whole new level of problems for us. So in a way, uh, don't anybody watch our video, and please avoid buying our record at all costs. You know? Unlike other bands, the Dead permit their fans to tape their concerts. These are tape covers, man. The Deadheads record their own the, the shows. That we're allowed to tape our the, the shows, so we need tape covers. I don't believe that the tapers are ever have ever been responsible for ripping anything off. They mostly trade stuff around and things like that. And it's not like that. We don't we don't view it in that light. And, uh, and like I say, when we're done with it, anybody can have it, you know. It's and Grateful Dead sounds aren't the only items that Deadheads collect. The music's inspired a particular style of art. 
Grateful Dead has always been a great, it's been always been a resource and a reservoir for uh, brilliant ideas for artists. I don't know what this fixation on skeletons, the Grateful Dead skeletons. I love it. The Skeleton Rose image works so good because it, it, it meant life and death at the same time. And uh, it goes along with the word Grateful Dead because it, in, in a way that means life and death. I think they have a lot of, a lot of respect and consideration for artists. And uh, that's why they've always had such so much good artwork. They've always had a lot of nice artwork. And uh, the art's always been a real important thing to them. Hi, this is from last summer's Greek shows. Only $10. Why am I selling t-shirts? So I can go to the rest of the tour. In today's commercial world, art often has a way of becoming merchandise. I may be going to hell in a bucket, baby. If the merchandise is good, then there's some, there's some merit to it, and they're able to make enough petty cash to make it to the next show. But if it's bogus material, merchandise, and they're selling it at huge prices, that's no good. Huge demand for Grateful Dead memorabilia and information inspired the band to establish bi-coastal hotlines. The hotline had the most important test when Jerry Garcia got sick. And uh, there were daily messages that the various members of the Grateful Dead recorded for the hotline to keep everyone up to date. Jerry's illness was, uh, it really made us think on how fragile the Grateful Dead really is. You know, it looks like a big monster, uh, you know, a big, a beast, but it's like walking on eggshells. You know, the, the, it's very fragile, the interconnection between all the musicians, you know, if, if everybody isn't up, we can't, the Grateful Dead doesn't appear. Mostly the thing was when I was in the hospital, I, I, re I just really wanted to be anywhere but there, you know. Uh, and I, if I had my choice, I'd, I'd be playing somewhere, you know. So this is like now, I'm out, you know what I mean? This is, I'm acting this out now, you know. So this is like, okay, I've had my second chance, you know, this is great. We were all really afraid and... Uh, all the prayer and, and love that we've gotten from our audience, I know, is he healed that man and healed the band through him. We will survive. Jerry got sick, he came back, and this is it. This is what it's all about.